Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to another garden video. So today I'm doing a fun planting video, comparison video, sweet alyssum video. <laughs> so I am going to be showing you a little bit of a difference here. Last week I planted two sweet alyssums that I grew from seed in my milk jugs. This is Carpet of Snow Alyssum. This is from Walmart. I grew these seeds in my milk jugs. They are supposed to get four to six inches high and six to eight inches apart. So you can see that even after a week, they are rooting in and they are starting to bloom. Don't worry, I will give you a close up. But I live in the South, Alabama, so I'm 8B, and my mama has always said, girl, don't even bother planting alyssum in the landscape because when it gets hot here, it will not survive, it will not keep its blooms, and it will not make it through the summer. And I'm like, you know, mama's always right, but I really want some. So I'm gonna try it, and if it doesn't make it, I'll put something else there. I just put it in these two spots right up front here. So, while I would love to try this, it does great on the porch in containers. It's a fabulous spiller. It smells amazing. Um, and seeds, of course, were the way to go because if it doesn't make it, it was only $1.99. But after I did this, I was doing some more research and I found a few versions of Proven Winners Alyssum that are supposed to be far superior. So the first process, process, the first one is called White Knight and the second one is called Snow Princess. Now of the two, Snow Princess is supposed to be far superior. It is supposed to be able to handle even the hottest of hot days, full sun, keep blooming its head off, maybe lag a smidge in the heat, heat, heat of summer, but then keep going all the way through fall. And in a lot of zones, including 8B, it is supposed to be able to come back. It also, while it says on the tag that it is 10 to 16 high and 24 apart, the website says this plant is supposed to get two to four feet wide, huge. And the pictures they showed are crazy. Now on the tag, it says to place them 24 inches apart. So I have one, I've only purchased one, because so if it gets that big, I don't need that many. But here we go. This is a really good representation of what alyssum should look like. And technically this sweet alyssum, Snow Princess, is a uh, lobularia. It is a hybrid, which is how it really withstands that heat. It is not a true alyssum. It looks the same. Y'all, if it works, you can call it Aunt Patty for all I care. You'll be part of the family, sweetheart. It also is supposed to be able to trail over two feet, which means it's great for growing above rock walls or rocks in general. It will go all the way down the side. So I'm thinking since these little guys only spread out about six inches, I'm going to take this little, little princess and I'm going to tuck her in right here. If she spreads out 24 inches, that's about a foot on either side, she won't quite touch these and she'll come over the front. If these do peter out in the heat of summer and she gets four feet wide, she can have the whole darn front. We'll just see what she does in our climate. But another one in the princess family is White Knight. So White Knight is supposed to have the same growing habits of Snow Princess, be able to handle the hot sun, be really, really strong and beautiful, all the things you want in a night. But it is supposed to have a smaller, more compact growing habit. It only needs to be planted 18 inches apart and is perfect for pops in the landscape as opposed to huge spillers. So I grabbed three of those as well, and I'm going to try to put them around my Angelonia swoop. Now the ones, the white knight doesn't look quite as good because you see that red slash? That means I got this baby half off on clearance. 
why he's struggling, I don't know. But just having him home the last two days, they've perked up a lot and uh, are getting quite a few blooms. There's buds all over them. Box store, nursery, you can do your own math. But we're gonna go ahead and get in close here and I will give you a look at everything. Um, and then we will take a, uh, a video throughout the whole summer of what these look like. At the end of the summer, I want to have a really good comparison of how they do in the heat, how they do the entire season. Do they make it to fall? Are they still blooming in November? Are they four feet wide? These are all questions I don't know the answers to. If you have experience growing any of these, Snow Princess, White Knight, or the traditional carpet of snow in the landscape, let me know. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started planting these and then I will give you a walkthrough at the end. I have placed them right across the path from each other. So they are in very, very similar lights. They will get almost all uh, morning sun and afternoon shade. Just six hours of sun should be perfect for these guys. Um, and the afternoon shade should give them a little bit of a brief respite from the heat and the worst of the summer. So let's do it. Here is the white knight. You can see it starting to bloom and all of these are buds. So he is definitely picking up and he'll be just fine. everything's planted here is a close-up of the carpet of snow this is the one we planted from seed 49 days to bloom and six to eight inches apart four to six inches tall so got two of these and we will see 
they can handle the heat. On the other hand, our snow princess, our one true hope for the galaxy, full two part sun, Lobularia hybrid. She is supposed to get 10 to 16 tall and needs to be 18 to 24 inches apart. We will see how this side goes. I'm very excited. If I had uh, planned this little collaboration from the beginning, I probably would have put Snow Princess here and the other two down here. That way the more, most of the trailing could happen over this corner. But this was an experiment born after the carpet of snow was planted. So, you know, we'll see. And if she truly gets big enough, it won't matter if she's planted here or here, she will still trail. So last but not least, across the path, we have one, two, three white knights. As you can see, this guy was 648. I paid half of that. It is trailing eight to 12 tall and 12 to 18 wide. And one more look. It's really starting to recover. I've had him only like maybe three days since I purchased these. I've been watering them and keeping them in the shade to kind of <laughs> give them a little plant doctor time. And uh, I think it's working because they look good. Hopefully they will bloom, bloom, bloom for us. Hopefully that Angelonia will take off sooner or later because otherwise they're just in front of sticks. Way I am all done with this little experiment. Everything is planted. It is the middle of April. So I will be back in our garden tour in May, in our garden tour in June, in our garden tour in July. I will give you an update in all of those. And then we'll see. I know I will for sure do an end of season update on these. We may do a mid season update as well. We'll just see how they're doing. If these peter out mid-season, I'll for sure do a mid-season update to say, ding dong, the Wicked Witch is dead. But if these are still alive, we just may do end of the season and live with the monthly updates in the garden tours. So comment down below how many updates you want because your girl will do them, but not if you don't want them. See you later. And before I go, if you need more stuff to watch, Go check out the video where I planted the alyssum because it's only one of a whole bunch of stuff from the milk jugs that I planted out that day. Five, six different things. So go see what I planted in the milk jugs. Bye for real.